hey, another good selection of flowers there, but a colour. Many thanks, uh, Mrs H. Welcome to the midweek shave. How are you doing? Um, right, going to use a new razor uh, sent to me, Stephen Scott, or Father Christmas, I should send call you. <laughs> Many thanks, Stephen. Um, he ordered a couple of these razors. Dorco. This is the PL602. Very inexpensive razor, and it comes with two blades. And uh, that's the razor itself. Very lightweight, two piece, non adjustable. Now, before I put a blade in, I don't know if you can see these little lugs on each side. That might stop overhang from the blade. I don't know. Um, very lightweight, inexpensive razor. But we'll see how it works. You've got to be careful with the plastic thread that you don't cross it. Um, and the blade is a Dorco ST300. One of the two. I'm going to use one of the two. Um, uh, that came with it. Made in Vietnam. If I can open it. That's what I like to see. Double wrapped. It means I cared about the blade. And there it is. The Dorco ST300. So we place that on the head. Carefully. Folds in nicely. And then we'll place it back. You gotta be careful. Yeah, it feels nice and uh, tight. Oh, a very slight, very slight overhang, but that hardly any, just a bit on there, which tells me maybe the blade's not sat right. So just bear with me. Yeah, just a slight, very, very slight, but it has stopped it really. Um, very nice. Grey colour, you can tell. Okay, so that's the that's the razor and blade. Um, I'm going to use a, a new brush, DS Cosmetics. Uh, this is one of the three they sent me. Um, this is a super badger knot, like a fan um, fan head, uh, and uh, it's the similar handle to the to my own Paul H one in red. This is the blue version. DS Cosmetic. Thank you very much. So that's been soaking just in the water there. I'm going to use the Crown King Travel Scuttle plastic. It's not full of anything, it's not cold enough for any hot water and all that. But you can do. Very lightweight. The cream at the bottom, that is Taylor of Old Bond Street Royal Forest. I'm going to give that a go again. Lovely scent on that. One of their new lines. So I'll. Uh, no, we'll lather up first. The brush holds water well, this. Super Badger. Good little bowl, this is one. Well, that's a bit more water. Very easy, very simple. Nice tightly packed knot, and yet the look at that <laughs> holds. I tell you, wow, that holds stuff really good. Okay, if you like the badger, so I just wet the foot. Oh, it's a lovely scent. That has anybody tried that new Taylor Old Bond Street yet? Um, I just wet the face. Not going to use a pre shave today. Just hot water. There we go. That'll do it. So how have you been, all right? How's the shaves going? Have you had good shaves? Have you had any off days? Sometimes you have off days. Um, especially that can be off, look at that. Um, when you're new to this way of shaving, and you finally master, you think, God, oh, that was a cracking shave, that. And then all of a sudden, 
you have a terrible one and you think, oh, I've lost what I've learned, or it's not that, you just got an off day. I get a lot of them. That is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful scent. Nice brush, good backbone. Feels very soft. That's beautiful. Okay. I'll put any links I can in the description as always. Hopefully they help people. Uh, just warm the plastic razor up. So an aggression, I've no idea. Judging by the look of it, it's probably mid. mid. The blade's sitting nicely. Uh, mid aggression, probably. We'll see. Right, first pass. Dorco PL602. Yeah, mid aggression, mild to mid really. But we'll leave that judgment till after the first pass. Because there's a few whiskers protecting the skin, so you can't really feel it that, that well. How has she gone with my. Oh, to there. Let me just make sure that's level there. Very lightweight razor, but it feels, even though it's inexpensive, it feels well made. Everything's tight, nothing loose, no issues yet. <laughs> uh, and a few people asking about vintage razors. Fancy the vintage. And I said to them, I can highly recommend, well any of the Gillette range, but specifically the Gillette Fat Boy or the Gillette um, Slim Adjustable. Because they're adjustable and uh, gives you an option, doesn't it? So here, where it's quite sort of uh, heavy on beard, around the chin area, I find something like this, it's a sort of mild to mid aggression, uh, but you have to sort of go at it, you can't just go one, sort of short strokes. What can speak can't lie, that's a good first pass, no issues. Which is good for me, isn't it? No issues. Talking of issues, uh, I pass a lady sometimes, well I won't say where she is, but uh, selling the big issue, uh, obviously homeless. And um, I always give her, if I've got one on me, I give her five pounds. And then she goes to give me the biggest shot. I said, no, you keep that to sell. You get yourself something. Oh, thank you so much. They're very grateful, lovely lady. Right, second pass, I'm not even going back to the bowl. Right, there's a slight, a soft, but there is a slight scratchiness. But I know that's because it's new and that will soon go after a few uses. 
but otherwise really uh, super badger really impressed with the I'll show you after how much it holds it's like a soap bank <laughs> beautiful soap cream I should say very slick and a very nice scent and very posh okay across the growth here we go this would make a good razor to buy if you're going away for a couple of weeks traveling working holidays you wouldn't care if you lost it really but it's a good good little razor does the job Dorco Dorco maybe Feels very smooth, nice blade. Um, quite a mild blade for me, that darker blade, this one. Yeah, just. Not sure what I compare it to actually. Uh. Very nice. Beginner's razor, absolutely yeah. If you're starting out it'll do nicely. Did you have a nice weekend? Last weekend? Did I ever tell you, um, we used to have a manager many moons ago and uh, he was a bit of a nice chap here. had to watch him, you know. I think he'd, if he could, if he could gain a few points, I think he'd stab you in the back type of thing. But he was a nice chap, can't say anything about that. Um, he asked me once, <laughs> he said, uh, he used to ask people different things all the time. He said to me, um, what's the, what's your favourite part of the job? And I said, uh, going home. <laughs> no, he didn't like that. Especially as a couple of people laughed. That's <laughs> true, isn't it? It's nice to go home. But uh, yeah, he had it in for me after that. Third pass. Look at the splay on that. Nice handle this, that's why I picked this. It's, a, it's, it's good in the hand. And a few more people have said they've had, the, had their Paul H brush. So fantastic. Many thanks and I hope I hope you have many years of good shaves out of them. And if anything else, you'll always remember this channel, won't you? Hopefully. And the shaves we've had. Not that I plan on going anyway. Hopefully. Everybody there now saying, oh, teasing us that you're going. <laughs> and then you don't. Right, against the growth. Here we go. Good test actually because it's a mild to mid uh, aggression and the blade's not aggressive. Uh, it's below a Wilkinson sword for me. I don't know. Astra? Mm, I don't know. I can job to compare it actually. I can't think of anything it reminds me of. Sometimes a blade I'll use and I think, oh, that's just like that, or it's just above that, or just below that.
good slick is a good test because it's a slick soap cream so it's a good good test already Quite impressive actually you know, it proves you don't have to have expensive stuff. Really enjoying that. If I go quiet, I apologise. Wow. Very impressed. Right then, what time is it? Three, two, one. Amanda's saying this. I hope you're better, by the way, Amanda and Stephen. It's Dorco. Pick up time, baby. A very slick slickness. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? Slick slickness. Beautiful. Go on, fingers out. Hey. <laughs> very slick. Right, see what's this? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Oh, I nearly put down the face then. <laughs> Good stuff. Here we go. Pick up time, baby. Do you ever go to a, is a random question, I don't know if they have them in the States or any other country, but a, a place called Weatherspoons. Uh, quite popular in this country, we have one, well not uh, in this town, but in about eight mile away. And um, I remember going in there for a breakfast, it must have been about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the fella, <t> <laughs> he sat there with a, like a, it, must, it looked like I didn't like to stare, a pint of something. At 8 o'clock. The only time I ever drank, sort of 10 o'clock a.m., and that was a bit early, was in Dublin when I had Guinness. And I'd had that much of it the day before. I thought Saturday may as well carry on. <laughs> yeah, Dublin. There's some nice people, the Irish. Because we're Celt, you see. Must be. 
and uh, proper pint of Guinness. So thank you to Arthur Guinness for that. Beautiful. Picks up the pickups. Other pickups can't pick. You don't know it. Because it's hollow there, is it? Just a touch there. Absolutely beautiful. Cold water rinse. And then uh, didn't use this towel on the door last time, did I? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that is nice. That kicks the midweek off. Have a look at that. Not bad, is it? Nice and close. Very impressed with that. Thayer's lavender today. Thayer's lavender. Nice scent that, yeah. Nice scent. Oh, go on then, you can have a bit of that. Now then. This is a special one now. I thought I'd use a bit of this. 007. James Bond. <laughs> I'm going to put some in hand. Oh, nice. Good day, Miss Moneypenny. I know it's rubbish. People ask, who's your favourite Bond? Well, for me, it has to be Roger Moore. And I like Sean Connery, but Roger Moore would win for me. Um, from I think these days, the modern one, I think Daniel Craig's doing a good job. And he's about, are they about to film or they are filming? The last one for him. Um, the last Bond he's doing, I think, Daniel Craig. Uh, I've been to the Bond stage in Pinewood Studios in London. Huge building with 007, like a gun. Massive thing. Um, but we weren't allowed in it because they were filming. And they were also filming a Harry Potter film somewhere around the back or something, I don't know. It's a huge place. But, uh, yeah. Um, and 44 million, I think they're paying him. Daniel Craig for this last one. 44 million. You won't have to work again, would you? Yeah. Right. Bit off, off key there, wouldn't we? Um, Gillette. I thought I'd give this a go again. Uh, aftershave balm. Quite, uh, quite a runny one, this. Nice scent, though. Have a bit more of that. There you go. And I think this concludes our midweek meeting, our conference call. <laughs> and uh... oh, that's beautiful. Have a check. Nice and smooth and clean. Beautiful. So what have we used quickly? The Dorco PLP a little bit. Three, two, one. Dorco time. We've used the Dorco PL602. Very inexpensive. Two piece, non adjustable. Very light. And these little plastic lugs are very helpful with the overhang. It, you know, it really helps. You can hardly feel it. Just slightly if you try. That's a good safety feature. 
mild to mid aggression for me very nice the blade the st300 the dorco st300 excellent i'd class it as a mild blade um well mild to medium again i suppose it matched it very nicely felt very mild but i had no trouble going through well you can see that's the end result ds cosmetic this is the super badger knot brush with a blue handle um beautiful very nice so thank you very much for that thank you Stephen Scott for the razor um, we've used Crown King Travel Scuttle really nice, lightweight, easy to handle there is a slight grip on here so you can hold it in that but I, you can, you know, it doesn't matter if you drop it really does it so no point worrying about that the shaving cream, Royal Forest Tale of Old Bond Street, excellent stuff lovely scent, easy to lather Good protection, slick, slickness and glide. Really nice. We rinsed off with cold water. We used Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. We've used 007's Aftershave. Beautiful stuff. Do you like that? Little things, eh? Little things. <laughs> and then the Gillette Aftershave Balm. Beautiful stuff. That is nice scent to that. Uh, quite thin. And that's it. That concludes our meeting. So thanks for the chat. Thanks for your company. And I hope you have a great rest of the week. Some good shaves. Stay in good health. Smile your way out of anything. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care. All the best.